the ocean's not healthy, we're not healthy. One of the greatest threats to elephants today. They'll be able to take photographs, idea. videos that are GPS located, immediately upload to Google Earth, and use this as a way to protect the forest. Mars is a very special planet in the solar system. It's the most Earth-like. It's the one where humans could actually live on if we wanted to. We keep finding evidence for water in different places and different times in the planet's history. It helps us continue this search for evidence for life because where there was water, there could have been life. My job on the Mars rover team is to help target the rocks that we want to collect data for and help to sort of decide where the rover is going to go on a day-to-day -day basis. Mars and Google Earth is a very useful and powerful tool to visualize the landscape that this rover is driving through. So it's a convenient way of figuring out what the best routes are for this rover. Mars has huge dust storms that actually are very hazardous to these rovers because they're solar powered. So we have to decide where to park the rover for the winter so that it can just survive. Mars and Google Earth is something that I can use um, in real time to help look at the landscape that the rover's been driving through and help visualize whether, for example, the, the terrain that we're actively exploring right now could have been a buried hot spring. I like to use this tool to sort of uh, a view from all angles the terrain that we're in to help interpret whether this idea is right. Mars and Google Earth is something that everyone can use. You can simply crank up this tool and have access to images and data that scientists have been using for decades. The more people who are interested in, in Mars for exploration, the more likely we'll continue to explore Mars.